back to another GIMP for Beginners tutorial. We're going to have some fun today with face swapping. Uh, I know that we have smartphones that have apps that do some face swapping, uh, but I thought, hey, let's learn that skill here in GIMP and have some fun. Um, and today I've chosen the ever so handsome Zach Efron. Um, yes, if I were a girl, I'd have a crush on him. I guess you would say I have a man crush. So Zach Efron, you are the chosen one today. He's a good looking fella. I'd like to think I'm a good looking fella too, but he's got me beat. So I'm gonna take some of Zach's features and put them on my face to see if I can beautify myself. And so we're gonna start out. Um, actually, I wanna talk about the pictures you choose when you're doing face swaps. First, you wanna make sure that they are facing the same way. So in both of ours, they're for forward facing um, and the lighting is somewhat similar. Um, sometimes if they're facing different directions or profiles, uh, it, a face swap is rather difficult. So, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna grab my fuzzy or free select tool. I also call it the lasso. And I'm gonna try to get the main features. And so I'll start right here between his eyebrows and Zach's nice bushy eyebrows. Um, are a main feature. His eyes are a feature. And so we'll go ahead and loop down. And I'm going to go right here around his mouth as well. And so these are the features you want to grab when you're doing a face swap. Nose, eyes, mouth, and maybe even the eyebrows. And so once we finish it off, I need to press enter. Um, I need to copy. And you could use the keyboard shortcut of control C, or you could say edit copy. Um, I'm going to jump back to my original picture and we need to go edit, paste as a new layer. When we do that you can see it puts it on there and we are not the correct size or placement but we'll fix that here in a moment. I'm going to take uh, the opacity of Zach's face and I'm going to turn it down to about 50 so I can see through so I can resize this better. Now that it's opaque or halfway opaque, I'm going to grab the scale tool. Um, I'm going to click on his face. And sometimes these chains here are unlinked. That means you could uh, change the proportions of length and width separately. But I like to keep them so uh, they're kept in, in correct proportion. So I'm going to try to line this up. When I grab the middle, that lets me move it. Um, and so I've got the eyes aligned and the mouth aligned. And we're, we're pretty close. Um, sometimes you'll need to also use the rotate tool. Someone, and so, because um, someone has their head slightly tilted, and so I'll go ahead and kind of tilt this just a little bit. And I'll say rotate. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and turn up my opacity all the way back up. And you can see uh, at this point, our uh, skin tone is very different. And so I'll, let's go ahead and try to correct that somewhat. So I'm gonna jump up to here to colors, go down to levels, and usually I grab the center little uh, triangle and I start pulling it different directions. Obviously to the left is too light. As I go to the right, it starts to darken. He has obviously a little bit more red tones and that's okay, we're gonna do some blending. I don't wanna go too far, that's a little too much. I just wanna get it better than it was. And I think uh, right about here will work. Um, you'll see with our next tool that we'll do some blending. So I'm gonna grab the eraser. And if you double click, it gives you some options. I'm gonna go to the brush and we're going to choose this one here. It's the hardness of 25. It's one of our softest brushes, and it, it'll blend things in uh, somewhat seamlessly. So I'm going to zoom in, and you'll, you'll notice as I begin to click, it begins to blend our skin tones together from the, his picture above and mine below. And so it's not a perfect blending of skin tones because we're so different. And I could do some more with maybe colors later on uh, and balancing, but I just wanted to 
give you the basics of what a face swap could look like. Sometimes it, the skin tone blend just much easier and can be done. But here we go around the eyebrow up here. And I'm going to turn off this bottom layer just so you can see what it looks like. So really what we have left is just his main features of his eyebrows. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue to click a little. His mouth and nose. And then I'm going to turn that bottom layer back on and, and zoom back out. And there, I, again, I could do a little bit better with the skin tones blending. But we have um, a pretty good looking Zac Efron on, on my face. And darn it, Zac Efron, I, y yeah, you're just too gorgeous for me. I can't compete. But um, sometimes it's fun to try the reverse swap. So here's Efron on my face. I, earlier I did my face on Efron, and sadly I, I, I did you uh, some harm, Mr. Efron. No one's going to want to see that. Um, doing face swaps can be quite fun. Uh, you want to make sure, though, if, if you're doing it with a celebrity, it's all good. But when you, you're using photos of maybe friends and family, you want to make sure you give their permission. I, Mr. Johnson, our principal here, gave me permission. So here's my original picture. Here's Mr. Johnson. And here's what I look like on Mr. Johnson's face. Yeah, not too pretty. Um, here's what Mr. Johnson looks like on my face. Yowza. Okay, so <laughs> um, I threw a few more that you, I thought you might enjoy as well. We have Miss Beasley and Miss Ruskowski. And now we have Miss Bizoski. Pretty good looking. We have Mr. DeGraff and Mr. Nelson. And when we blend them together, yeah, that's a pretty believable picture. So I hope you have fun with Face Swap. Um, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again in the future.